All right, in this video, we're going to go ahead and do a, a batch invoice. Batch, creating batch invoices is new in the uh, QuickBooks 2011 series, so Enterprise 11.0 and Pro Premier uh, 2011. So what you do is you're going to come up here under Customers. All right, it's not on the home screen yet. And you go to Create Batch Invoices. Okay. So you can search through your different uh, customers here, search for something. Um, you know, if you have a particular customer type, for example, you can search through all of these. You can also drag and click shift and select a whole bunch of customers. You can also select a customer, hold down the control key, just like you're used to doing in Excel, and pick off a couple customers here. Okay. Go ahead and add them over. You can also have billing groups. So if you have a billing group, a monthly billing group, you want to select those. You can pull them up easily. The only thing to be aware of is you do have a monthly billing group. You want to make sure that you have all your customers in there. So if you added a new customer this month, make sure that you need to add it to this billing group. Uh, you can manage your monthly billing groups here. Okay, what you want to call it. All right. So if we added another one here, we're going to go ahead and save this group now again. So now Aaron Davies will always be in there. Again, you have to really keep track of who should be on this list and who shouldn't. So we're going to go ahead and say next. All right, and here it comes up to the invoicing screen. What type of template do we want to use? We're going to use the Rockcastle invoice template. What's the date? It's the end of the month. What's the first item? Monthly service contract, December monitoring, okay, quantity of one, charge of 175, class, you can choose your class on a per line basis here too, all right, if it's taxable or non-taxable, and we're going to go ahead and add a trip charge as well, $50, and this is a non-taxable, okay. Uh, you have your customer message, just like you would on an invoice. It's been a pleasure working with you. All right, it gives you the total here. Notice how it doesn't pick up the taxes right now because all of your customers have different tax rates, right? So if they're in, you know, one state versus another, or if they are in one county versus another county and they have a different tax rate, it's going to pick that up later. So you say next year, here we go, here's the screen. All of my customers do have the same tax rate, so it's kind of convenient, but it gives you an opportunity to uh, check the status and make sure everything looks okay. You have the opportunity to back out here too if you don't want to send them anymore. Notice that the send method, that's something that's really important to have set up in the customer's fields now, in the customer cards. And the reason for that is all of these Invoices, when I when I create the invoices, these are all going to be checkmarked to be emailed. So I just have to go in and mass email them. I don't have to even look at the individual transactions if I don't want to. All right, this one that says none, it's not going to be checked to be emailed or to be printed. All right, so that one, if I had 20 of these, I'd have to go open up each transaction and print it. So you want to make sure first to go into the customer card and get that set up the right way, which I'll show you in just a second. So again, you have the opportunity to uh, not send it to certain people if you want to right here. So I'm going to go ahead and say create the invoices. It's going through and creating them. Here's my batch invoice summary. I can print them. I can go in and mass email them. And then you can see this one that's unmarked, which is unfortunate. <laughs> I have to remember which one that is because I have to go in and find it now. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and mass email them picks up all of those that need to be emailed and uh, all the different rates that are correct and I can just go ahead and say send now. All right. So it's a quick easy way to get all of that information, all of those invoices out to your clients. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the actual invoices here. If you go in. So you have Aaron Davies. This is the one that did not get marked to be printed or to be emailed. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go into that customer card. And I'm going to type Davies. It pulls up Aaron Davies. And I'm going to double click on it so I can edit it under additional information here. Go down and pick my preferred send method. 
Okay, so you want to make sure that that's filled in so that when you create your batch invoice, that that's checked automatically. That little box down here is checked automatically. But now that I have it open, I can go ahead and print it or send it. But you see all the information flows through just how you wanted it. It's been a pleasure working with you, trip charge, monthly, taxable, non-taxable. All the information flows through. And if I look at the previous one, it picks up the right invoice numbering scheme. Everything's all taken care of. And it is a smooth way to get in a lot of invoices at once.